Thank you very much for the nice introduction, sir. And honorable uh, founder president, uh, Dr. Ashok K. Chauhan, Chancellor, Dr. Atul Lek Chauhan, and of course, uh, yourself, the president of uh, Amity uh, Science and Technology Innovation Foundation, uh, and the members of the uh, family of the Amity. Uh, thanks for giving actually this opportunity in this lockdown period and uh, uh, where actually from the home we are able to interact with you people. I hope actually you will enjoy the talk. Before actually starting on the, my slide presentation, I would like to actually say a few things. Uh, that is a tiny virus, uh, which is actually one by hundred of the, uh, our hair, is actually uh, creating actually topsy-turvy of the whole actually the world nearly 216 countries are actually they are affected this particular thing he already introduced actually that's why i'm not going to talk about uh, my main actually interest in this area angiotensin and this thing majority of the comorbid uh, people they are actually diabetes hypertension and actually the kidney diabetic nephropathy so in this particular case angiotensin receptor blockers which are commonly known as actually substance. Majority of the people are actually administered. There is a controversy which is going on in the scientific community, whether they are to be continued in this actually critical period or actually discontinued. So I hope actually uh, give a solution or actually my opinion, it is not a solution at this conjuncture. So with that actually, I will actually proceed and share my actually the presentation, uh, which may take around uh, 50 minutes. I hope uh, we have that much time. Okay, uh, so I'm sharing my screen uh, in this particular case. Uh, this is where actually I'm going to talk about actually the renin angiotensin system, and uh, it is COVID, but scientifically now it is known as actually uh, severe acute actually respiratory syndrome and the COVID 2 that is coronavirus 2 now uh, already it is explained by president and that actually drug for repurposing that is whatever the existing drugs uh, we will actually talk a little bit on this particular thing and uh, the question comes here is uh, new drug discovery will take long time that's why we have to approval procedures are very lengthy we have to work out actually the aspect uh, so before actually starting uh, the talk, these are some facts. We have to understand these facts, first of all, that is starting from 12 to 18.5 average and 30 million and 60 million, 1918, I'm talking about it, and 59,000 and uh, artificial intelligence too. So what is this particular actually all about? See, this is the first actually thing, that is the deaths which have occurred at that time, 102 years back, approximately, there are no actually good databases, nothing. And the people estimated in India, something starting from 12 to that of 30 million, majority of the average actually it is 18.5 million, which is 6% of the Indian population at that time deaths uh, occurred. Uh, whole actually the world, when we talk about uh, the Spanish flu, it is actually 60 million uh, people. Uh, this is actually in 1918, and it is spread over actually one more year, 1919. Some people also refer up to 1920 also. Now, the, coming to the 59,000, starting from January to this time, um, there are actually n number of papers uh, published on actually the COVID, previous one actually the nomenclature, that is coronavirus induced uh, uh, diseases. And in this particular case, the all actually the United States want to provide that information, dissipation of the information. This Allen Institute of uh, Artificial Intelligence in collaboration with White House and actually Microsoft, they prepared a database which is called uh, uh, CORD19. All are accessible. One can actually uh, download the information. So we are actually at the same time, why I'm talking about this thing? So many people are talking about this particular virus. Everyone is giving their suggestions. 
and infodemic is actually the causing the problems, including actually the laymen to the, um, the chief of the countries, they are talking actually this thing. And in that particular sense, uh, we actually, the scientists and scientific community must be actually balanced views we have to express. That is one of the major points which actually emphasis on this thing. So this particular aspect, coronavirus, uh, uh, it is not a news phenomena. Uh, they, unfortunately, it is actually started the evolution when we talk about um, more than actually six actually coronavirus previously known. This is the seventh actually the coronavirus uh, in this particular case. Where from it is coming? It, that is one of the major actually the question which actually if you see on um, the source, it is bat. Bat is a mammal which actually having uh, an average lifespan of 16 years and uh, Siberian bat can live up to 40. From the body mass point of view, it is highly actually the developed with the age point of view. And it is having actually the robust actually the immune system. This is uh, the comparative physiology one must understand uh, the particular thing. And it is an incubator of several viruses. Uh, see, and the disease ecologist uh, Brooks uh, from University of California Berkeley in, uh, uh, in the last month, he is actually talking about these aspects. Uh, when it comes to the first actually the incidence of the uh, SARS, that is a uh, coronavirus actually the part in 2003, uh, in this particular case, starting again actually the China, uh, and it is spread to 30 countries, and uh, 8,096 cases were actually reported out of which actually 740, 774 people are actually succumbed to this particular disease. And uh, later on, in after nine years, again, actually, the bat is the source, but it is via camel, uh, MERS. They call it actually the uh, Mediterranean, um, the respiratory uh, syndrome in 2012, Saudi Arabia and 27 countries and uh, somewhere around actually 2500 cases and 850 deaths uh, occurred now the current one what is that intermediate force is still actually the people are talking about it is fangolin they are talking which is an anteater and uh, this is again started actually from uh, wuhan uh, and china and uh, unfortunately are actually the people, they have disclosed it on 31st December. That's why it is actually started COVID-19. And, but uh, China was having this particular actually uh, disease uh, uh, since November or even October itself, they are talking about it. Right at this moment, uh, 210 countries over the world having actually uh, over actually 3 million, today's morning actually the information and the deaths are actually somewhere around uh, uh, 217,000, uh, or it is nearing actually by this time might have uh, even 2,000, uh, 218,000. In India, it has come very uh, a little bit late, and I was actually having around uh, 31,000 cases, and 100,008 uh, deaths have been already reported today morning. So in that particular case, uh, we have to actually look into this is actually epidemiological how it is actually switching over and what are the actually the deaths we are talking about this particular thing now what are the comorbidity see one of the latest one actually the sars covid 2 co2 it is having a respiratory syndrome number one it is also reported these percentages are a small study which has been reported uh, anemia acute cardiac injury, a secondary infection, and multiple organ failure, including the brain, and actually the diabetes, and chronic actually the kidney disease, hypertension, and immune suppression. These are all actually old age phenomena. Nowadays, diabetes is also young people, I do agree, and immune suppression is actually a old age phenomena. So, what is the status now? Let us understand actually the treatment status. No antiviral therapeutics specific to coronavirus. 
and uh, the treatment is right at this moment uh, supportive and palliative. That is one of the important point. Uh, the in vitro data, uh, whatever indicates, it is interference partially effective. That clearly indicates other mechanisms are working. And uh, in vivo, um, other antiviral drugs in animal models, they have worked out. And after 17 years of, of the onset of the SARS, that is actually 2003, still no vaccine is actually uh, available for commercial purpose or even actually they could develop it. The reason is it is continuously mutating. I'll actually subsequently talk about this one. Yesterday, from actually um, the uh, um, Kalyan, in this particular case, uh, that is National Institute of Biomedical Genomics, uh, uh, the uh, Partha Mukherjee, Professor Partha Mukherjee, and actually N. Viswas reported as many as 10 actually the variants which are there and uh, A, uh, 2A, uh, A capital first one, 2A is very virulent in actually the Indian population. And this is actually 47% of the small population and they have collected from 40 different actually the countries, the samples and analyzed. This is coming in uh, Indian General Medical Research. Now, we have to understand a little bit about actually the biology of actually the coronavirus. Uh, the, it is a single stranded RNA, that is one of the most important point. And the size actually 26,000 to 37,000 bases. It is the largest genome among us, the uh, RNA viruses. The sequence, what is mainly when we talk about spike potential, the genes, and actually the envelope and membrane genes and the nucleocaspid. And uh, we are also having at the three prime end, uh, the pathogenesis actually uh, genes are there. The S protein is the receptor binding that is actually essential and plays. One of the important point is the virus actually has to enter the host cell to replicate it as such. It, it cannot uh, on itself cannot actually replicate. So in that particular case, uh, the M and E proteins uh, play important role in actually the viral assembly. Now, the N protein is necessary for actually RNA synthesis. So we have to know the targets. Then only a particular drug can be developed. And in that particular case, uh, these are the things. However, the genetic actually variants or past mutation is taking place. This is what exactly uh, the structure. And in the last point, actually, what I am actually emphasizing that 10 genetic variants are available. That is especially in case of the spike protein, how it is entering into the body as reports of the Indian scientists. That is what I mentioned, Professor Majumdar and actually his workers. So in that particular case, we have to, uh, why the vaccine is not actually coming up so fast. Now we have to understand how this actually the virus is actually the entering into this particular thing from the bat, which is actually the source. Why I actually question mark in this particular case, we do not know what is that intermediate host. People say it is pangolin. And this particular actually, these are the spikes which are then on the virus and the spike protein interacts with this particular actually a receptor which are present on the host cell. This is angiotensin converting enzyme 2. This is actually cell present on the cell membrane. And uh, once it actually the spike protein binds to this particular uh, 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 AS receptor, AS2 receptor, and then actually the whole of this particular organ uh, organism goes inside actually by endocytosis mechanism. So that is actually it fuses and then actually it goes inside actually. There it actually starts, we will explain it. Uh, that in uh, my letter actually the points. Uh, as I am telling, this is comorbidity is one of the major thing, cardiovascular diseases, diabetes, and uh, the previous chronic uh, pulmonary diseases, if they are having it and are actually the old age, that is the immune suppression. In old age, generally the immune actually suppression, which actually comes and actually the lung, 
which is actually affected and ground glass phenomena is actually a common uh, structure what uh, people are reporting in uh, uh, computer aided tomography and in that particular case uh, this actually the severe actually the outcomes when we talked about it respiratory depression syndrome and actually septic salt and metabolic acidosis and actually uh, co uh, conjugation that is a coagulation uh, dysfunction takes place and an organ failure is occurring so this is where i will again come back to the second part how actually it is coming into the picture now this particular that means ace is the uh, target where actually it is coming so one of the interesting points actually the ace uh, it is expressed uh, half to toe starting from actually the brain to that of toes everywhere it is ubiquitous and it is expressed so in this particular case uh, science actually put a title actually the article robust invasion it is coming to uh, picture and uh, the first point of entry is when the virus sexually through the nostrils uh, epithelium so in that particular case nose and actually the buccal cavity that is mouth whatever we are talking about it and the tongue and the lungs which are actually through the actually trachea and, and this thing and it can actually through the circulatory system it goes to the heart and actually the pancreas in the abdominal that is gallbladder and adipose tissue and the kidney the proximal tubular epithelial cells that is actually chronic kidney cases it is coming into the reports vulnerable and then colon we are also having in case of reported in case of testes the first actually the symptom what they are actually now observing the anosmia that means loss of actually smell and uh, this is one of the interesting actually the feature apart from the cough dry cough that also uh, we can actually talk about because of the bradykinin in my system when i am talking about it agusia agusia is actually selective loss of actually the taste which is actually coming into the picture that actually the tongues and even eyes which are actually we are also having the conjectiva in that particular case this virus can actually uh, stay there and uh, whenever people actually put their hands it actually comes into the picture so in that particular case uh, the, the expression profile i have given in this particular thing this actually again artificial intelligence people used and the one million papers have been searched and coming up to this particular thing now that means what is it is two is actually the entry point so in that particular case that is the target now yes two we have to understand what is its function so we have to talk about actually the renin angiotensin system and the renin acts on the angiotensin gen that is actually renin is actually under the control of sympathetic nervous system beta 1 adrenergic receptors that actually converts into angiotensin 1. now we have another actually when we talk about ace 2 there is ace is also there that is angiotensin converting enzyme which is released from the lungs catalyzes the conversion of uh, angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2 which is the most potent vasoconstrictor available endogenously so this angiotensin 2 activates actually two subtypes of receptors that is 81 and 82 receptors so the angiotensin converting enzyme 2 this is the target for the uh, virus cleaves angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 1 to 9 and angiotensin 2 to angiotensin 1 to 7 that is it is a peptide so in that particular case, one of the actually amino acid is removed. So this particular angiotensin 1 to 7 acts not only on 82 receptors, and it also activates mass receptors and actually another actual receptor, Marg D. These are the different actually receptors, and we have to see what this angiotensin 1 to 7 is actually working is it actually opposite actually phenomena which is coming into the back of the point that is what we call counterbalancing of this particular thing so this is what i in the next this particular slide i'm explaining it so one x there are two components angiotensin system 
is having the two components. One is ACE angiotensin two AD1 receptor axis, which mediated vasoconstriction, proliferation, inflammation, cardiac actually hypertrophy. It actually reduces actually uh, angiotensin two expression through AD1 receptors, leading to internalization and actually the degradation. On the other hand, though I represented in red, it is beneficial effects of actually AS2 angiotensin 1 to 7 mass receptor axis uh, mediation. It is actually when angiotensin 2 or angiotensin 1 to 7 is acting on this particular receptor, we get actually the effects which is natriuretic, that means the sodium actually goes out uh, and uh, we also have endothelial protection and cardioprotectivity, vasodilatory action, and anti proliferative properties. So, thus, actually, these two systems are counterbalancing each other. That means angiotensin counterbalances the effect of uh, this particular thing, angiotensin 1 to 7. So, this is how, actually, in the normal physiological conditions, this particular uh, balance is taking place. And this is the pathway and uh, the green actually the points is uh, positive effects which are produced by, uh, this is what exactly I'm showing it, uh, on this particular aspect, vasodilation and uh, major whatever the pathways when we talk about it uh, and actually decrease the fibrosis. This is one of the important aspect must be action because fibrosis is going to develop in the lung. So now vasodilation and fibrosis is again actually coming through this pathway. And on the other hand, the red pathway when I'm indicating that is angiotensin 2 acting on 81 receptors, this particular thing, vasopressor effect, and this is actually coming into the effect. This is actually increases aldosterone release and cell proliferation increases, uh, myocyte actually hyperactivity, and myocardial actually remodeling, and actually fibrosis increases the fibrosis and oxidative stress, ROS, uh, and then AS2 decreases AS2 expression. This is one of the actually the fundamental point. That's why this controversy is actually coming into the uh, picture. Okay, uh, probably this uh, I can whether it is actually comes out. Okay, this is animation where we are actually talking about. Uh, the angiotensin 2 pathway, how 81 receptors is a G protein coupled receptors, and, uh, and the uh, uh, phospholipase is C, and the PIP2 pathway is actually uh, activated, which is converting into IP3, and IP3 is actually interacting with IP3 receptors and do actually thelium, that is actually uh, ER. From there, the calcium internal stores are released, and at the same time, and the DAG actually activates the L type of a, the calcium channels, that is voltage dependent calcium channels. The calcium also from extracellular calcium comes, and further actually the increase actually the contraction, and uh, the that is muscle contraction. That thus a functional coupling is existing uh, between these two parameters. On the other hand, A22 receptors, they cause actually relaxation. We did this work as early as in 2004 and 2005 uh, publication. What is it actually? The stages of actually SARS, when we are talking about it, and the SARS infection, uh, when it is actually asymptomatic, first phase, which is actually coming, they may be actually having the loss of taste, and that is also selectively loss of taste. So certain actually tastes are still actually the existing. And uh, this particular thing, asymptomatic, they are actually called super spreaders. They move here and there, and there is no necessity of uh, uh, confinement. That is what, they, what the, the persons think. And the idea behind this particular thing is containment after doing it, self-isolation, wearing the mask, and actually they wash the hands with actually the soap uh, because soap is, though they are actually talked about actually the alcoholic, uh, um, the sanitizers, but uh, this actually having a, a, 
annulum, which is actually more actually the glycolipids. So washing with the soap is actually a more beneficial when compared to alcohol actually based sanitizers. And here there is recent reports indicate face masks. When actually the foods, there are actually one actually the gender, they may have the beard and that beard do not actually the fix the face mask uh, correctly. And there is a possibility of actually the virus which is in the environment or can also go and actually it can actually invade the person. Invasion of the person can take place. Now, the next one is flu-like uh, symptoms. Uh, when actually, the next actually after this particular asymptomatic, a person will develop. One of the interesting feature, this actually the coronavirus, they have actually the flu-like symptoms also, apart from actually serious complications. Uh, this particular actually the thing, we have to reduce the viral load. Uh, so it do not actually going to the next stage that is where actually the more important point when we are talking about it now this is actually supportive care because we do not have any actually a fundamental point and avoid the home remedies unfortunately uh, people have recommended chloroquine and uh, chloroquine is widely available in india uh, uh, because of the anti-malarial activity and uh, over jealous people and uh, certain actually the prominent countries presidents also talked about it and unfortunate incidences have occurred in that particular case we have actually the arguments for the repurposed actually the medicines i will actually talk at that time on the chloroquine aspect the third and most important is icvu uh, ventilation uh, SARS. this is actually uh, main purpose why we have to take care of this one uh, people must actually come out of icu and unfortunately who are on ventilation as high as 50 percent death rates of uh, even reported so in this particular case uh, what is actually the how actually we can do it intensive care and fda approved clinical trial repurposed drugs uh, they are actually certain actually the drugs which they are talking about it and actually FDA approved the next generation, whenever actually the new drugs will come. And certainly the immune system, which is actually I'm going to talk about a little bit, uh, is also immunomodulators are essential in this particular case. Again, I brought this particular thing, that's why the uh, severity of this thing. And here, why actually cytokine storm is taking place is most important aspect and how actually T lymphocytes and actually other actually uh, white blood cells, which are actually the lymphocytes and then actually the macrophages are actually involved in it. The questions now coming up is only S2 receptors are present. Are there any other pathway? This is what exactly we have to understand that particular thing to understand this complication. When actually the SARS virus is acting on a lymphocyte, are actually um, the white blood cells, they start actually pyroptosis. This is reported first time in 2001, and now actually uh, it via the NL NLRP uh, inflammasomes, and from there actually uh, inflammatory cytokines, uh, and the IL-1 beta and IL-18, uh, this is actually one of the reports and the patients have been occurred how this pathway is actually coming into the picture. There is another report at this time in actually T lymphocytes, that is actually the Nature Actually Discovery paper Journal, uh, recently reported, I think last week only, uh, the, their CD147 pathway is also there. Why are actually this virus can actually uh, get into uh, T lymphocytes and actually there uh, a lot of actually cytokine storm. An cytokine storm means an amount of actually the uh, release actually uh, the pro-inflammatory uh, the biomarkers are released. And uh, the fundamental point again, 
uh, another actually the concept all actually uh, white blood cells um, macrophages lymphocytes and dendritic cells and uh, neutrophils uh, modulate all these are having S2 receptors as actually this is British Journal of Pharmacology paper in 2017 and uh, where actually this renin angiotensin system activates it and releases actually pro-inflammatory via AT1 receptors. So that's why this controversy which has come into picture right at this moment, yes, one should stop it and one should actually continue it. So this is one of the major actually fundamental aspect which is coming into the picture. And uh, here actually uh, New England Journal of Medicine, uh, when we are talking about the adopted from that particular thing, how the ultimate actually the thing uh, coming into the picture, uh, we have actually uh, alveolar. This is actually the alveolar, uh, lung alveolar actually the portion. Uh, then, and uh, this actually, there is a gaseous exchange will actually take place in the normal circumstances. In the, this is the left side. What I am actually seeing uh, is uh, uh, your normal and how actually in the disease conditions it actually takes place. An interesting aspect about this one, the uh, virus, which also interacts with hemoglobin and actually it causes actually so many actually pro coagulatory factors are actually this thing and the clot formation actually takes places. And the injury takes places. This is the capillary, blood capillary, and that blood capillary, the damage through that particular thing, interstitial fluid is goes into the lung. So in that particular case, this actually do not allow the gaseous exchange. That is the reason is hypoxia is actually the developed. So in that particular case, uh, oxygen, uh, saturated oxygen is to be given. However, uh, the positive pressure, what they are using actually the ventilators can also do a harm. That is some reports are actually the coming in the picture. So uh, this is uh, very few people in India are reported to be on ventilators as per the data which is actually coming into the uh, picture. This is how actually the picture understanding the when we understand the mechanism of the disease and then actually we can understand about the targets whereby uh, the drug discovery or how actually this inhibition actually come into the picture. Uh, so in that particular case, um, this is actually diabetes because since I actually involved in the diabetes, so I would like to go through whatever the things we have done it previously. So I will tell about this one, hyperglycemia. This is a type two uh, diabetes. Uh, when actually insulin resistance is one of the major, actually the point which comes into it. And we all know about these parameters and oxidative stress increase in actually superoxide and the decrease in uh, uh, you are having actually the nitric oxide and uh, whatever the pathways, which we are not going into it in details, uh, super sensitivity, and the vascular actually cell migration and uh, proliferation, hypertrophy. Uh, and, uh, there is actually nitric oxide dependent uh, uh, vasodilation decreases. Nitric oxide is released from the endothelium. Uh, one has to uh, denude actually the uh, endothelium and work it. And there is ion channels are actually increased and intercellular actually the calcium is increased. Hemodynamic changes. And uh, these are actually the major complications of blood vessels, major blood vessels, uh, which actually comes into the picture. Uh, that is vasculopathy and hypertension. And uh, the micro uh, blood vessels causes actually retinopathy and diabetic retinopathy. And uh, micro blood vessels, which are actually present in the kidney, or renal system, diabetic nephropathy. So this is a complication. Of course, actually, uh, neuropathy is also coming into the picture. Now people are actually talking about the brain actual involvement is also there. The few reports have come up recently. That means whatever again, again, coming back to our angiotensin system, upregulation of the uh, nicotinamide, the NADPH actually oxidase, results in production of the 
uh, react to oxygen species and oxidative stress is one of the uh, major thing and uh, that is what exactly coming into the picture if this is the normal actually the state uh, in the vasculature what actually isolated tissues we worked on it the angiotensin activates the protein coupled receptors already i have shown the mechanism and there is a coupling with actually the case and uh, normal contractions via the calcium which is coming from the extracellular as well as the intracellular is actually producing it in diabetic condition where angiotensin 2 is increased and actually these pathways have enhanced so a uh, more contraction comes that is one of the reason for actually the hypertension uh, and actually other abnormalities on the cardiovascular system we hypothesized at that time it was angiotensin receptor blockers and actually uh, independently as well as in again on the calcium channel blockers to block this actually the voltage dependent calcium channels uh, this particular aspect what i am talking about it and uh, it comes back to the normal so this is actually the hypothesis and uh, where actually we have found out uh, the increased actually the condition of the contractile responses uh, which is in case of the diabetic state and after using actually both the, actually the drugs in in vivo right treatment uh, this actually restored that and it is actually coming into the picture one of the sartan that is actually called the tedim sartan is also having the partial ppr gamma agonistic activity and it is very much prescribed in case of the diabetes uh, aspects for hypertension as well as actually other complications so with that actually the point i would like to say that is how i established uh, the link between angiotensin uh, system as well as actually your uh, uh, coronavirus are actually uh, co2 uh, sars co2 now what is it actually prevention how do people actually talk about it now first thing is actually the prevention now in this particular case we have to actually develop vaccine that all depends upon the how stable actually uh, these mutations are and uh, mutations do not occur. Otherwise, every season we have to actually develop. Is it going to be a seasonal? That is again a question mark. Yes, certainly uh, it can actually uh, reoccur again. And actually in the Northern Hemisphere, when we talk about it, it has actually occurred in the month of December, starting December, and we are entering into the summer and uh, hopefully uh, people's prediction is it declines but on the other hand southern hemisphere australia is and other actually uh, southern part of the africa and actually the south america where the cases may be there actually the flu season can start actually the developing but they have the time and i hope they will actually successful in managing this thing now the uh, rapid response is early detection we have to actually uh, formulate it and information dissipation dissemination is one of the major important thing had it been on um, the uh, what is origin country uh, uh, announced it the steps might have been taken the damage might have been uh, controlled and the first actually okay somewhere okay fine yeah. uh, the reducing viral actually the transmission uh, we have to actually take care mm -hmm. rapid actually mobilization of the healthcare system and reducing actually the okay. viral oh, yeah. some disturbance is coming okay uh, uh, reduce actually viral transmission by using actually uh, prophylactic doses and actually the treatment is uh, uh, this is actually the antiviral development new drugs and supportive actually the care and construction and reassignment of the facilities this is where actually now my the second part which is coming up uh, this is where how it is entering and uh, this particular actually the point uh, and the one and one is the figure where the fusion is taking place via this particular ace 2 receptors and uh, in this particular thing a facilitatory uh, tmp rss2 this is another actually serious uh, protein uh, membrane transmembrane protein which actually enhances actually this binding and uh, this particular uh, uh, TNP RSS2 is actually the inhibited high 
uh, chemostat missile aid, which is actually already approved uh, for the K in actually only Japan uh, for the purpose of pancreatitis treatment. Now, once actually it is enters, the translation takes place, the viral RNA and the ribosomes and actually uh, polypeptides takes places. And this polypeptides actually gets, gets into the uh, replication mode before this polypeptide actually uh, degradation takes place, uh, lopinavir and uh, retinovir, it is already existing a combination which is used for other actually the antiviral purposes. One can actually inhibit this particular process. And from there, it's actually the translation. If it is escapes actually the inhibition and actually it comes into uh, the RNA replication and actually the packing actually takes place and a new virus is actually developed and the new virus is this is actually the loading actually that takes place RNA. the fundamental point is when it's endocytosis is taking place this particular actually a process is actually inhibited by chloroquine so that chloroquine is actually the basically uh, an antimalarial drug which actually is having an efferent volume of distribution of 15,000 liters and highly concentrated in the liver. So in this particular case, this particular uh, 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 chloroquine uh, acts, uh, increases actually uh, and the uh, endolysosomal pH. That is one of the point. With an increase in actually the pH and the lysosome, this particular actually the enzyme do not replicate this particular virus do not replicate this is actually the mechanism whereby actually uh, uh, this particular thing fortunately i was working on actually the chloroquine in 1989 uh, when i was in uh, boston harvard actually this thing we were working on pancreas we have used actually the chloroquine and to increase actually because in this particular case, involvement cathopsin B and cathopsin L. So once it is actually inhibited, now the controversy which is coming in this, this particular point for the repurposing and actually the reports of indicating that aspect, what is that? Is it actually, first of all, chloroquine also increases uh, QD wave prolongation, that is in ECG. So in that particular case, this actually the substance provides actually or causes actually cardiac arrhythmia. So that is one actually in very few people, especially this QT wave prolongation is having actually drug-drug interactions, especially ketoconazole in the substances. So if at all used, that QT wave prolongation actually comes into the picture. Now, as I mentioned, the chloroquine is highly concentrated in the liver and uh, the particular aspect which is coming into the case, it is having a long half-life, uh, that particular point. That's why ICMR, Indian Council of Medical Research, it is advised for actually the medical uh, people and actually healthcare workers to take actually the prophylactic dose. Uh, first, actually the loading dose we have to give and the next dose is after one week for seven weeks. So, so that actually the load will actually develop and uh, the virus, if at all they are exposed, that will not be. But uh, in the clinical trials, what is reported actually uh, two days back, they are talking about chloroquine do not work. Certainly if the virus is spread to other parts of it, the concentration of actually the chloroquine in other actually compartments will be less. That is one actually most important point we have to talk about Yes. Uh, remdesivir is actually the another actually the virus Ebola virus and they are actually the inhibiting this actually the replication transfect complex and uh, uh, this particular actually the Golgi body involvement and once it is not replicated so in that particular case we have to understand this particular point now these are actually the various clinical trials which are actually the going on it uh, right at this moment the drugs interfering with the fusion, actually the virus. This is what I talked about, actually the hemostat and actually on the aspects which are coming into the picture. And uh, this is actually a TMPR RSS2. This is Syrian protease inhibitor. It is in the phase two clinical trials right at this moment. Uh, 
and uh, the next one uh, category of the drugs when we talk about the drugs which interfere with actually uh, translocation of the virus within the host cells that is chloroquine and actually hydroxychloroquine hydroxychloroquine is actually a contribution of the india you will all know about it bengal chemicals from there actually the founder who started actually first uh, in the pharmaceuticals in the uh, east coast calcutta and uh, that particular thing which is actually also and hydroxychloroquine is less toxic when compared to chloroquine however this actually uh, over jealous using may not be advisable because chloroquine is commonly available in actually uh, malarial endemic diseases even in actually pawn shops recently that particular thing indian government uh, drug authorities actually just stopped that particular aspect so this is what so in that particular case what i want to actually talk about it the and uh, right at this moment uh, 16 actually uh, associations which are actually the present are societies which are present in the world dealing with cardiovascular actually drugs and they said it is wrong to discontinue the uh, angiotensin receptor blockers and the people who are actually receiving it, it should continue there is no actually the problem which will come into this particular thing so that actually the detailed analysis and aspect so in that particular case for actually the diabetic and having actually hypertension and uh, using actually the angiotensin receptor blockers that is satans various satans were need not be discontinued and continue this particular thing yes chloroquine prophylactically it works right at this moment whoever is actually prone to exposure especially practitioner uh, the medical practitioners and actually healthcare workers needs to be actually come into the picture yes uh, last time actually i was uh, just mentioning about it uh, my other actually the areas of interest uh, the opioid uh, tolerance dependence mechanisms and uh, radio ligand binding studies and uh, cholecystokine and that is an uh, university of illinois at chicago and uh, i also actually worked on polycystokine in transmembrane signal mechanisms intercellular calcium concentration determination by fura2 uh, that is in harvard medical school and after coming back to india the first thing i started actually with the facilities which are actually limited in bechu and uh, i started transdermal delivery of the drugs by antophoresis and uh, um, the coming back to niper which i established uh, and the nanotoxicology lab and uh, regulatory toxicology lab which is actually glp compliant and uh, dst certified and we have carried out a lot of work on this thing uh, the compounds for the drug development preclinical drug development and uh, uh, certainly uh, the post uh, that is actually clinical development bioavailability studies also uh, people have done at actually the niper and nanotoxicology which is actually the also another aspect uh, which we have actually uh, worked out uh, nanotoxicology carbon nanotubes uh, in the recent actually this thing and the latest so we already submitted a paper on actually uh, this is computer aided drug design and, uh, and the particular actually the virtual screening of the compounds uh, uh, which have been screened and antiviral agent against uh, COVID-19 uh, are targeted actually this thing uh, developed and it is uh, loaded to uh, uh, Chemex uh, uh, this one R, R, uh, RX uh, uh, IV and uh, it is available actually pre-publication preprint what they are actually they are talking about it now and these are my citations one of the uh, model what we have developed is having more than actually uh, 1000 actually the citations and uh, IJMR actually the review article is also nearing actually the thousand and other aspects uh, yes now what is the way forward life after actually the BC uh, that is actually we call it now before coronavirus 2 and um, AC that is after coronavirus will not be seen so what is it actually we have to do the hygiene and health style needs to be changed 
and uh, we also have to work on actually strengthening the self-immune system so that actually it will actually help it uh, and uh, uh, adaptation of the new technologies because uh, the data are coming very fast and availability that is uh, using artificial intelligence and big data and digitalization and certainly and the increase in the investment in the healthcare facilities and throughout the world people are actually discouraging the science now so in that case basic and actually the translational research need to be basic research needs to be done and convert actually the basic research output into actually the translational research is an essential aspect uh, with this, actually, yes, uh, it is actually the dark scenario uh, and deep. We are actually facing woods are throughout actually this thing, but uh, we have to keep our promises uh, optimistically, and we have to go miles before. Yes, we sleep, and I sleep, and actually the miles go before I sleep. Uh, with this, actually, I thank. And uh, I will get back to, I will start sharing actually one, I will stop it and uh, get back to um, the mode. Okay, sir. And this is what, thank you very much for your patience listening. Thank you, sir. And it has been a wonderful lecture, Dr. Rabrao. And you've exactly. covered every aspect of uh, the biochemical molecular mechanism, starting from the H2 receptors and uh, how it, uh, the pH plays a very important role, the cytokine storms, and then how it, how it uh, affects the virus host relationship. And uh, this is a, it was very, very enlightening. So let me start the discussion with uh, a few of my comments. Do you mm. think that BCG vaccination, in a way, mm. will be able to give a certain level of immunity to the people who have undergone BCG vaccination? What is your view on? Very correct, sir. Uh, the fundamentally, the countries which do not have the universal vaccination on the against the uh, tuberculosis or BCG vaccine, they have actually suffered a lot. That is the uh, Spain and uh, certain actually other countries italy uh, which has faced actually a lot of actually the things uh, hopefully uh, they are talking about actually the bcg is not only a uh, particular aspect uh, uh, it also causes actually general immunity and along with the bcg i think actually professor nk gangoli has given one particular uh, uh, youtube lecture and uh, the new actually they are adding to it that particular also actually is specific and the interesting aspect which actually is uh, the malarial parasite uh, one of the gene is having the resemblances a genetic material is having the resemblances with actually the coronavirus so again actually the people are talking about is india which is actually the malarial actually the endemic areas are going to actually have the less uh, uh, virility and uh, will they be saved? These are the questions which we have to wait and actually the see. And certainly the similarities are there in these particular uh, gen genomes. And uh, certainly what your question is a valid question, sir. And uh, uh, BCG is reported to have actually increases uh, on the general uh, immunity. I can extract really the aspects yeah. other diseases. In, in the medical management, you did yes, mention sir. about the hypoxemia, severe hypoxemia, mm -hmm. due to, uh, caused by the heme being disturbed and then free iron coming in, the yes, ferritin level going up, and then cytokine storms happening. Mm -hmm. All this uh, is associated with ultimately the hypoxemia. Yes, sir. This hypoxemia and the inflammation which happens on the lung. Mm -hmm. uh, Diffusion of oxygen and uh, also diffusion of CO2. Yes, sir. They are impaired. And yes, because sir. the carrier itself is now weak, the hemoglobin. Yes, so, sir. Uh, in this situation, do you think that uh, hyperbaric hyperoxia, hyperbaric hyperoxia will be valuable in terms of the medical management 
for these patients who are in a little advanced critical severe state that is what actually as your point is very valid they are talking about uh, the saturated oxygen chamber uh, facility the bodies are actually who are suffering there they are covered with it and uh, saturated oxygen is actually there instead of actually uh, putting uh, on the ventilator instead of putting on them on ventilator this is one of the major point uh, i do not have expertise on that particular area uh, i am okay. reading that particular thing very frankly speaking but the major not... point uh, sorry sir major point is dic that is a diminutive intravascular coagulation that is all actually the coagulant factors are actually getting exhausted and actually the intravascular uh, uh, the coagulation dysfunction that is what in one of my slide i have shown it and uh, that means uh, the, the, there is another actually the people are trying on the plasma which is actually taken from actually um, the patients who are recovered and there there seems to be certain actually the positive effects and there still actually the studies are going on and we have to wait and watch certainly and who are recovered they may be having actually the what you call uh, antibodies uh, may be there in this particular thing but main question is again coming on uh, how actually these antibodies if continuously the spike protein is evolving and mutating will they work and the la uh, large data needs to be available. That is the fundamental thing, sir. Yeah, the last comment from my side before I, the other people ask question. Yes, sir. These two receptors, if you look at in hypertensive uh, patients, they are upregulated and also their gene polymorphism will have the uh, addition or insertion of this race 2 enzyme. Uh, so, do you feel the hypertensive patients are uh, more vulnerable for this type of uh, the COVID infection is it because of the upregulation of the ACE2? See, the, the, whole, the whole question actually coming here is, uh, is it actually the hypertension? Is it a sympathetic activity? Number one, because actually the release of norepinephrine increased. Or is it actually, of course, certainly whenever you talk about sympathetic activation, vitamin receptors on the kidney and uh, renin release will take place and automatically angiotensin 2 will be released, upregulation will take place. But upregulated actually the angiotensin still acts on it and it internalizes. And that is one of the uh, 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 hypotheses only. There are no evidences which are there. Interestingly, uh, one report actually has come where actually statins, which are in a very cardiovascular diseases, everyone actually prescribes the statin. Statin actually upregulates uh, uh, ES2 receptors. This is actually a paper frame from uh, Dr. Tiku from NIPER. Uh, and he used only one statin that is uh, uh, fundamentally. And there is a question came from MIT asking uh, this particular thing. Have you ever tried actually other statins? So uh upregulation is uh, if it is upregulated naturally angiotensin 2 is converted into um, the uh, uh, this thing if the concurrent administration because nowadays any actually aged uh, person and having obesity there is another point which actually is uh, there are reports indicates obese people uh, also morphed on to this particular actually uh, attacks uh, covid attacks so uh, and uh, invariably any physician is nowadays actually uh, prescribing statins now if these statins uh, are actually upregulating heteroregulation what i talk about it it is heteroregulation and it when it increases actually s2 receptors uh, on actually the cell surface that is a beneficial effect so it is a complex phenomenon which is actually working in the I hope the equilibrium is essential. Okay, uh, uh, there is a uh, yes. Um, uh, if they are not taking any treatment, then is going to be a problem. Hypertensive cases certainly because uh, if they are on actually the medication uh, and uh, 
a combination of the drugs normally. Normally, hypertensive patients are regularly prescribed. If it is a diabetes, is there? Telemisertone is normal prescription. Uh, plus, actually, uh, they take actually the calcium channel, amylodipine, plus actually the beta-1 blocker, atonal. Uh, and this is a common, actually, the practice, which is actually uh, following. It is a combination of the drugs. And uh, certainly, uh, hyper, hypertension will be controlled by this combination, this particular aspect. Well, sir, wonderful and comprehensive lecture. Yes, you have updated with all the available information and you have rightly mentioned that world is witnessing a paradigm shift before mm -hmm. corona and after corona so there's some question one and two question one question is from uh, professor arun garg he is he is dean from Mangalam university he is asking that what is the life span of this virus inside the human body life span of actually in human body uh, and the whole question comes is how immune system, if it is actually the immune system is very good and uh, it automatically the symptoms are not precipitating. If the immune system is suppressed uh, and uh, uh, the people are reporting that incubation period is nowadays as high as 30 days. Previously it is reported only 10 days, but uh, uh, now the incubation period to coming into the uh, phase two or phase three conditions, it may take up to 30 days. That means if actually I understand uh, the question, uh, which is a very good question um, in the human body, uh, depending upon the condition of actually the macrophages and the immune system, it varies. If immune system actually is good and they fight, which one I will take upper hand? even actually 30 days after the symptoms have been developed. This is what exactly, that is from uh, on the, what you call uh, when a person is come in contact with actually, ultimately a person must actually come in contact with another actually the patient who is having actually uh, the virus. And that means may not be asymptomatic or symptomatic person and uh, it actually transmitted to it. This is what I hope uh, I have given, but uh, a question we have to read also, understand this. Sir, uh, the one question is related to this topic, like uh, is you have mentioned there is a close link. So is uh, the question is from the uh, Gurkul Kangri University. So we want to know about that. Uh, if you see the mortality versus uh, hypertension versus other diseases, so what, what the uh, data on that? Uh, other diseases? And the, the whole question comes here is uh, now a hypertensive patient, if he's identified, uh, we expect the patient to, to take uh, antihypertensive. So this is one of the major points. How do you actually uh, classify? The minute you start actually a correct uh, uh, the dosage pattern and regiment uh, automatically the hypertension should be controlled unless it is actually essential hypertension or it continuously increases uh, as actually in certain cases. Uh, I, this type, I very actually that particular data, I have to look into it, but uh, if a patient is identified uh, by any physician that is hypertensive, they certainly actually prescribe uh, on the antihypertensives and that to a combination therapy. That to a combination therapy. Let me, let me reword the question that he asked. Uh -huh. Is the mortality rate high due to COVID 19 in the hypertensive patient? Uh, just to reword yes. the question. Uh, yes, certainly that is, a, that is a comorbidity. What I explained is comorbidity. Whenever it is actually, now the hypertension, there are two types, uh, subclasses, I would like to talk about it. Uh, because diabetes actually associated with hypertension. Without diabetes, there are patients with hypertension. Uh, so we have to actually um, stratify the data. The question actually, when we are collecting the data and analyzing the data, stratification needs to be done. And we have to, uh, uh, reanalyze. I I have not got, but normally it is actually comorbidity. When we talk about it, actually the diabetes, hypertension, and actually the diabetic nephropathy, which is a very common, 
and acute actually kidney problems uh, are also there uh, reported in, without actually the diabetes also uh, because the drug induced actually the acute uh, uh, the uh, renal failures are occurring yes certainly in all these cases because uh, uh, renal system is also expressed i i have not collected i am not going to comment uh, on either side but certainly this is a valid question i will look into it well, there is a uh, any correlation that we need to think about the lung specific ace 2 targetion lung specific because you know the yes. ACE have lot of activities with the other system no um, yes 2 is actually up till now there is <laughs> very actually common in everywhere whatever uh, we have not got uh, any specific that is uh, uh, if you formulate it and uh, uh, site specific drug delivery okay that may be possible any pharmaceutics people can actually talk about site specific uh, target but the question comes is uh, in the main actually the uh, point is immune system now in my opinion okay the uh, cytokine starch which is occurring is more actually the dangerous. So we have to actually uh, prevent the cytokine storm which is occurring in actually the immune system. Uh, I actually, if a chance is given to me, I prefer actually concentrate on actually how, because there is a new pathway, whatever I talked about it, uh, that actually the coronavirus instead of yes, in actually, that is the latest paper I was talking about, referring nature actually discovery that uh, uh, clearly indicate other than actually S2 pathway. There are S2 pathways are there in immune system, but other than in T lymphocytes, we are also having uh, CD147. That is one of the major actually the point uh, uh, needs to be taken into account. And there is a similarity when I talk about this thing uh hiv virus is also actually rna virus but uh, H that actually enters actually the host cell via cd4 there is a difference between actually cd147 and uh, cd4 actually the pathway and uh, another important thing is uh, once actually hiv virus actually enters uh, into the, this thing reverse transcriptase uh, takes places and uh, you are also having the inverse ACE enzyme that actually uh, reverse transcriptase RNA uh, superimposing DNA single stranded. That one more strand will come. DNA actually double stranded DNA is formed. That double stranded DNA, which is in the cytoplasm, is incorporated into human actually the DNA. And from one generation to next generation, it actually passes on. So that is actually another aspect. That is why uh, there is a difference between HIV, RNA virus, and uh, that is actually uh, reverse. That's why reverse transcriptase inhibitors, uh, which are actually the widely used to prevent that RNA is converted into DNA. That is one of the major points. Otherwise, if the that one actually gets into a human genome, it will get attached into human genome. And when actually the cell divides are actually passed on to the next generation of the cells uh, along with uh, DNA, that particular point. Yes, this is my explanation. Thank you, sir. Uh, this question was to Dansu Pharmacology. There are a number of questions, sir. Dr. Shukender Kumar, I think, is Nipirian. Uh, you might be knowing Shukender Kumar. Mm -hmm. Asking about that, is there any gender link with mortality? Mm, not yet, because the data with uh, uh, Spain, Spain flu, whenever we are talking in 1918, uh, in Indian actually uh, scenario, uh, the women folk were actually the attending the men folk at that time, and the data actually indicates uh, because recently. Uh, 100th actually centennial actually the anniversary has taken place at that time they have reported actually in indian populations more females were dead but uh, uh, that type of actually the report is not yet actually i have seen at least uh, what in my knowledge that is what uh, the case yes, 
others are uh, compliments from various organizations they are uh, very happy with the talk informative talk they just compliment you for wonderful talk arkesh colonia is there and from the different organization now over to shangita dr shangita you have any uh, can i interrupt you one minute can i interrupt you dr sachinder uh, can you send that particular uh, the comments or questions by yes, email sir. so that let me actually uh, look into it and understand what are their questions okay uh, we have to learn we have to learn actually more and more because of the two questions, two questions can we ask uh, some um, they have uh, our professor sunila dhaneshwar director of okay. ap lucknow she um, the asking uh, some death have been reported after the use of hydroxy chloroquine so could mm -hmm. you throw light on the uh, risk of uh, uh, risk or benefit analysis of hydroxychloroquine uh, if over jealous sexually administration in the coimbatore is reported the father and actually the mother and to anger kid uh, overdose is administered in this particular case and death occurred in india from then onwards immediately uh, cdsco or the drug authorities they said actually that's why i specifically told about it previously the chloroquine and uh, hydroxychloroquine in uh, endemic areas um, of the malaria it is even actually the bond shots without a prescription is available now it is restricted and uh, one point second thing uh, in actually united states uh, the uh, top notch advisory actually the chloroquine aspect and uh, whatever chloroquine is also used for uh, uh, sanitizing uh, the aquariums so uh, whatever actually the available that chloroquine they have consumed in the house whatever it is available that is not a medicine and the death occurred in arizona area if i'm correct so uh, the proper use under the medical practitioners is fine because you know, icmr also uh, advised indian council of medical research prophylactic especially for the more actually the prone people who are exposed especially the front end uh, healthcare workers including the doctors which is actually coming into the picture uh, and certainly uh, hmm, this particular thing i as i already i mentioned in my talk that uh, it actually the chloroquine in certain actually the patients uh, this produces qt wave prolongation and uh, that actually the qt wave prolongation uh, can actually cause cardiac arrhythmias so it is a medical actually uh, qt wave means so that is ecg uh, cardio uh, the electrocardiogram uh, uh, points so uh, under the medical supervision it needs to be used and the dose is a very critical and uh, because as i mentioned pharmaco uh, kinetic or the distribution and it is having a high actually the uh, volume of the apparent volume of distribution that indicates it is concentrated in the liver so this particular point if it is taken a cautious approach point as a prophylactic it can be actually used once it is spread actually uh, throughout the body certainly uh, i have my own actually question mark which i cannot uh, uh, i am not a uh, clinical pharmacologist to explain this particular point one um, dr mudit mishra he is the assistant professor in motherhood university roorkee he is asking the plasma therapy will be beneficial in the management of covid 19 but uh, today icmr ha has not given any green signal for this therapy so how it affect the future health among the population see if the virus any virus which is not mutating so rapidly uh, certainly the antibodies which are actually the developed certainly antibodies will actually uh, stick to that particular thing as actually the, this one and they do not allow the internalization that is one of the major actually the point which we have to understand now if that spike uh, protein is in a constant actually uh, um, the mutations are taking place there are 10 types which are actually there the original ancestral actually this one which is actually called from the china which is coming actually is o type 
now there is a type then actually uh, 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 next question actually the comes is uh, two a two type and uh, several actually the types which are actually reported and that paper is actually uh, will come in indian journal this is an indian time this uh, contribution uh, majumdar uh, that is from the national actually the biomedical genomics uh, at kalyan uh, that is in west bengal uh, so um, uh, certainly if uh, in one population it may be effective and if the infective organism is different and mutated um, that may not have so if icmr actually declares okay you do it that mean uh, that's why they are very cautious uh, in my opinion because I am not sitting in ICMR, I cannot give that particular thing, but uh, we have to wait and see. That is the main reason why vaccine is not able to be developed. That is one major reason. Okay, yes. that is my opinion. Okay, sir. If you have any point, Nito, otherwise we can go to for the concluding remarks from the President W. Shilmour. Okay, sir. Sure. Uh, one question from Neha Tiagi from Faculty of Pharmaceutical Sciences, Motherhood University, Roorkee. Uh, she is asking, is there any evidence of ACE inhibitor drugs increasing ACE2 proteins concentration in the lungs? Yes, I. it is. The question is very specific. There are certain drugs which actually upregulate ACE2 receptors. That is what I mentioned actually when I'm talking with uh, your president. Okay. Uh, there are reports, the statins, that is from actually my ex uh, uh, department colleagues, uh, Dr. Tikku published a paper in Biochemical Pharmacology where it indicates clearly that paper came up in 2015 in Biochemical Pharmacology clearly indicates that uh, ACE2 receptors are applicated in in vivo uh, rabbit treatment. This is an a, a animal studies, what I am actually talking about it. Uh, yes, uh, there are actually upregulation of ACE2 receptors. And uh, that particular thing, and uh, we uh, clinical scenario um, that particular study, I don't think I have not come across. But in animal studies, yes, it is of the glades. And there are actually two septons uh, one is last septon, and another is uh, uh, only septon. Uh, also reported to increase. Yes, two receptors. That is also experimental animals, as far as my knowledge goes. So this is what I can actually talk about it on the aspect on this particular issue. Okay, thank you very much. Good day, sir.